Welcome back everyone and today I'm really excited to open this long-awaited package. This is a package from a Kickstarter that I funded back in 2019. So this took almost three years if not three solid years. The pandemic had a lot to do with that but the the creator of this Kickstarter worked really hard throughout the years and although there was radio silence for a long time and it frustrated a lot of backers, they did end up go going through with the actual project and not leaving everyone with out of product and I'm really excited to open this box because despite the wait, despite all the delays, I was really really excited and looking forward to getting this Kickstarter project. So what this is, is a board game. It's called Carnival Zombie. This is the second edition and I did select the deluxe version which has a lot of extra items in it. I believe, if I remember correctly, it includes a lot of miniatures that you could paint but I got the unpainted versions. Um, I think there was an option during the campaign where you could have them painted but I did not choose that one. So here is a little information on Carnival Zombie. So this board game has been released. The second edition I believe includes obviously some extra stuff, maybe a different storyline, um, extra characters, and that's pretty much all I know about it. I tried to keep myself in the dark about the gameplay and all that throughout the years just so I would get a nice first impression when I actually got the game. This is supposed to be everything that it comes with. So, let's get to opening this box. It's actually quite hefty. I was expecting it to be pretty light because all this is is a board game and bo some board games can be heavy, but most of them, all they really have is cardboard, paper, and some small pieces. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this was processed by Quartermaster Logistics, which is a separate company that helps process projects like this um, because this is a Kickstarter all the way in Europe. The creators are Italian, I believe. Oh my goodness, it's huge! So packing, very good. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm in shock. I don't know why in my head I was picturing something along the lines of the or the size of Settlers of Catan. This is ridiculously big. I'm a little worried now. My friends and I play a little more advanced board games, but this is kind of intimidating. This is like unwrapping a Christmas present. so first impression this box is gorgeous look at this it's got um gosh i i'm blanking on the name for this um but this detailing this metallic detailing it's beautiful it says the name of the author albert pavo the Seal of Excellence from the Dice Tower. No idea what that organization is. Here is the side. It says limited edition and it has this cool artwork of a Kraken tentacle. Some more tentacles and metallic information. It's one to six players, which is really good because uh, my friend group usually has six players for a board game so I'm really really happy that's the case again limited edition another Kraken Ooh, this one's angry and again more info and here is the back of the box which has more information on the board game 14 plus one to six players a little over an hour for the story mode and 45 to 90 minutes for the scenarios and then it shows you kind of what you got as part of the deluxe package which is what this should be which might explain why this box is so big oh my god Oh, that's 
neat. It says, you're about to face the Leviathan. Be brave and don't give up, even in the darkest hour. So cool. Love it. Okay, so here is what comes in the box. Let me... So we have, or I have, this is mine, a dice bag or a little bag to hold all the pieces, I'm assuming. A little black and, you know, faux velvet, soft, very typical. I've seen it in many other board games. Here's the board itself. It's nice and warm from the heat of the sun. This box really wasn't out there for very long. I saw the FedEx truck drop it off, but it's still fairly warm. Wow. There's so much going on. Again, a little intimidated, but excited. Um, mainly intimidated because I'm going to be the one that has to read the instructions for this. So, and teach my friend group how to play it. But here's a look at some of the other stuff. So, parts of the board are glossy. Here's some of the... So, like... It has glossy detailings in the masks. This whole um, design, the round design, is glossy up until you get to this inner circle. This entire section in the corner is also glossy, or at least the numbers are, certain portions of it. Basically, certain portions of the board are glossy, and then it is double-sided. I'm trying to be really careful. I don't want to break this right out of the box. I can't zoom out, so hopefully y'all are okay with this close up. The, the board on the back is similar, but none of the special details, and it has different mechanics, it looks like, different characters as well. Oh well, no, the zombies at the top are the same, it looks like. But that's super cool. Next is the manual, I'm assuming, it has the cover. Oh, the Venice guide. So is that like the basic guide? My goodness, this is going to be fun to read. Let's see, yeah, just the guide. And then Carnival Zombie, the Mediolanum Guide. And I'm assuming this is extra as part of the story, or it's just an extra story. Again, I tried not to read too much detail about it. Just so I could be surprised. Wow, look at that. They did create this as part of the miniatures. I just don't know if it's included in mine because it's been a around three years. So I kind of forgot what was included in the deluxe package. But I'll double check once I take inventory of everything and make sure they gave me everything. Because I know some people were responding to the Kickstarter comments saying they had something missing in their package. So, oh, you know what? This reminds me of another board game my friends and I played. I think it was call, called Asylum. It was about a haunted house. And it came with different scenarios depending on what cards you played and what you rolled and ended up in. And you have to actually, had to actually destroy pieces. Um, but there were different, there was a booklet that had different story scenarios. And based on those scenarios, that's how you would finish the game or keep going because we never actually finished. It was really long. Um, so I'm assuming that's kind of what this is or just scenarios in battle. Wow, that looks super cool. I'm trying not to be so slow with this because there's really nothing I can say since I know nothing of the gameplay. It just has a lot of these. I'm trying to give y'all a solid, solid look at them. Don't mind me just being stupid. The boat. Neat. So this is like a steampunk themed board game, which is what attracted me to it. That and the fact that it said carnival and zombie. I love both of those things. So combine them and you got me. You got me good. What was nice about this Kickstarter... Ooh, the Destroyer. What was nice about this Kickstarter is that despite all the delays and everything having to change shipping companies and processing companies and factories the creator never really asked the backers for extra funds um i would imagine that shipping costs went up and 
they never went back and asked everyone to pay a little more to have theirs shipped out. We just kind of waited and they sent it to us, which is really cool. So I'm happy about that. Again, it's been a long time, but I think considering we ended up actually getting the item, I'm pretty happy with that. There's so many of these. How many more are there? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just show y'all. Oh, that looks cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what this is. I'll just flip through it. Big Game Hunting, The Death Fog, Death in the Fog. Then it has this flip open book, The Path of Saints. Then it has some examples. Interesting. Again, I don't know what this gameplay is. I'm going to have to read all of this. And then it looks like a summary of some of the characters, which is really cool. Ooh, tokens. There's about four of these. I don't know if you can see, but there's four of these. And I gotta pop all of them out. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm excited. Let me open this first. I'm, s I'm so happy that my deluxe package did come with all the miniatures. I cannot express that enough. So here are some pop-up tokens. And these are all the characters. Oh, look at that Jester zombie. That's so cool. They're a little small, which I'm surprised by. I was kind of hoping they'd be a little bigger because the artwork is really nice. Then some more of the tokens needed for gameplay, I'm assuming. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. What? I'm excited to play this now. Okay. So cool. Oh, they're double-sided. Well, the characters are anyway. There's there's numbers on the back of some of these as well. Let me double check. Oh no, some of these are completely double-sided. Wow. That is really cool. And it says deluxe. Okay, so these specifically were for the deluxe. And here's the back of that first one. And it has, well, this one just says zero one back, but this, some of these have deluxe and then the number. So I'm assuming you only got this if you ordered the deluxe. So that's pretty cool. But I hope y'all can see that. It's really cool. Blister's a little busted in the corners. There's so many. I'm really excited about this one. I'm sorry. I have to pull it out. Oh, my camera cut out in my excitement, but look at this. The bottom has the insignia of the creator. And there's so much detail in this. Oh, I mean, I guess this is still technically a miniature, but it's pretty big. And this was one of the things backers were complaining about during the mid portion production phase of the campaign the creators are very picky with the details um there's some lint in this part of the spine um but they were being so picky they kept sending back the samples um due to the detail flaws and a lot of backers were just so frustrated they were telling them just you know we'll take the the, the mistakes we just want the product but look at how how like they did such a good job with this. Look at the corpses coming out of the stomach of this Leviathan. It's gorgeous. The inside is sculpted. All of the scales. All the detail. The claw at the bottom. My goodness. This was worth it just for this. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm just easily impressed because this is the first type of board game like this that I've owned and bought. Okay, and we have a lot more. Wow. So these are all the characters that you can play as, I'm assuming. The white ones, my assumption is that those are the extra characters that were um, add-ons because the 
the Kickstarter did so well. So here's this guy. I'm going to have to zoom in for this, actually. I'll be really quick because there's a lot of them, and I don't want my battery to die. So here's this guy. Really cool. And this one. It's got a, like a makeshift gun. And all of these do appear to have the same insignia from the author, which is really cool. Look at this guy. Wow. Love the jester hat. <laughs> His little um, braid. Gosh, the detail is so good. I love this one. So the gray ones are the zombies. I'm now noticing. The gray ones are the zombies. And the white ones are um, alive characters. I love this guy. Love his top hat. Love his dog. Trying to be... Oh, this one's really cool. Oh, does it have the name? Martyr. The white ones don't have it. But the, the zombie ones have the name on the base. This reminds me of Nemesis from Resident Evil. Super cool. Oh my god. I love it. Oh, I lo like, is that a... Is that a knife stuck in his back? Or, um... No, that's a Celtic symbol. Um, I don't know the name of it, but... I've seen it everywhere. This is probably one of my favorites. Look! It's like a Grim Reaper. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to be gentle, but I'm also trying to hurry up. This guy kind of reminds me of a gladiator. Oh, but he's got a fur, fur cape. So cool. Dodge. Doge. Oh, this is definitely one of my favorites, too. He kind of reminds me of that one character from Corpse Bride. With the uh, big skeleton chin. He's a little hard to see because he has so many fine details. Um, and he's very thin, but... Love it. Going back to the white ones. And these do feel a bit sturdy, or pretty sturdy. I zoomed in a bit more, hopefully y'all can see. When I zoom in this much, it's hard to tell if it's in focus, so I apologize if it's not. Um, look at that. Super cool. We have a girl now. She's kind of hard to pop out of the blister. Neat. Love her mask. She's got fine details. It's like she's only wearing the bottom portion of her um, big Victorian dress. The undergarments. But she still looks pretty badass. And then... This guy with his giant gaping stomach, literally, super cool. This guy's got animalistic hind legs. Again, it's kind of hard to tell if I'm in focus, so I do apologize if y'all can't actually see what I'm showing you. There's this one. Super cool. He reminds me of uh, Davy Jones. That's probably who he's supposed to be. Let me look at his base. Admiral. No. The Warlord. I'm starting to read the bases now that my hand is free. Super cool. So much detail, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Look at her dress. It's got an opening in the back and it has the detailing of flesh. It's so cool. Here is another lovely lady. She looks fairly generic. Kind of reminds me of Harlequin, but still cool design. Love her mask and is that, is that an anchor or a crossbow? This guy kind of reminds me of, um, 
wow, I literally forgot the name to the antagonist in one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, but the captain from Treasure Planet, because he was a cook for half the movie. I apologize if I spoil that movie for you. Look at this guy. Getting back to the zombies now. I love this guy. It's kind of zombie pope. Oh my gosh, look at this coat rack looking amazing demon woman or zombie. Amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorites now. I like how this one's primarily missing a lot of outer organs and inner organs. Then there's this one. I added more lights so I could show you all better, but it's kind of washing out some of the details. I apologize. Got two left. This was supposed to be a quick video where I just unbox everything, but there's so much detail going on that it's kind of hard to... My gosh. And then finally, there's this guy. Love the snake looking things in the bottom coming out. Okay. And, it, and in addition to these miniatures, there is also a coin. And it's actually metal, or at least painted over and quite heavy. Has a carnival zombie and kraken tentacle logo on there. Super cool. There's also see some character stands. So I'm assuming these were to use the the cardboard ones because the miniatures were not offered as part of the base set. They were only in the deluxe, I believe, and higher tiers. There's also some game pieces with silica gel. They are more game pieces. <laughs> they remind me of Gadon pieces. Most board games have pieces that look like this. I need to, again, I'm going to have to double check to make sure I got all the pieces. And I, I'm not missing anything. But got white. I'm excited about the purple. And, oh, so there's cards. But I just felt around and there's something under these miniatures. My gosh. Let me double check. Okay. <laughs> so it's just that. Let me open these cards first. There's so many pieces. Again. So these I think are gameplay cards. Or character cards actually. There's a lot of them. Yeah. These look like character cards. And they have the names, the bishop, the tortured, the doge, the tenor, mistress, gonod, gondolier, gondolier. Oh god, <laughs> this font is a little hard to read. Bestiarius, Bestarius, Bestiarius, Joker, Casanova, Admiral, Warlord, Martyr, and the Carnifex. Neat. Really cool. At least you can see the artwork of the characters on the cards because they're really cool. Okay. And then there's more little yellow cubes. This set of cards that I'm, I don't think I'm going to open just because there's a lot of them and I don't want to don't want to make a mess. But these must be the actual game cards. It has the logo or the artwork on the back. That's so good. They have two different ones, so they must be different types of game cards. Some more black game pieces. Extra little baggies for your miniatures, or um, I'm assuming the 
the cardboard pieces that you punch out. And then there's these larger cards. These might also be for characters that you choose. Yeah, because it has the character artwork on one side. Well, both sides, really. She's badass looking. Neat. And then, oh, this must be like Settlers of Gatan, those um, reference cards that you can keep by your side in case you forget how much it is to pay for a city or something. Player aid cards. That will be very useful. And it comes with six, since the max is six players. Excellent. And then just want to show you all the back of these cards because the artwork is a lot bigger on here. And you can see the glory. So this is only for the human cards. Um, but not the monsters. And then, because I just noticed it, I'm just going to show y'all this. How cool is that? I do apologize, everyone. Um, my recorder, I stopped using my recorder to record the sound um, because I had to stop the camera because um, it automatically stopped recording. And I forgot to turn it back on, so unfortunately there was not all the wonderful ASMR sounds that I wanted majority if not all of this video to have so um i'm just i used you know the standard sound from my camera which is not very good um so i'm sorry about that but i'm really really happy with this board game i'm gonna arrange everything for a thumbnail shot and then come back so that is everything that came with carnival zombie second edition including the miniatures back there that you can't see very well i'm gonna take a better picture for my thumbnail but I hope you guys enjoy it and are curious about this board game like I am um that was very stressful I'm sure for a lot of people I kind of forgot about it and just waited for updates which worked out for me because this ended up being a very very pleasant surprise when the announcement came that they were in fact going to start shipping out the board game I'm excited to show my sister after I'm done filming exactly what I bought because I've, I've told her about this that I bought this and she plays board games too with us so I will leave links to the Kickstarter in the description and if I can find it I know they're gonna sell this retail I just don't know what the options are if you're not in Europe because again this is from an Italian creator but if I can find that information on where they're gonna sell it or where you can buy this online once all the Kickstarter backers have been sent their items then I will make sure to put that information in the description once again thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video